Imagine three friends, Jack, Mike, and Sam, who decide to work together to finish one job, let's say, painting a fence. The problem says that Jack and Mike together can finish the job in two hours. Jack and Sam together can finish it in three hours. And Mike and Sam together can finish it in four hours. Now the question asks, if all three of them work together, how long will it take for them to finish the same job? This looks simple at first, but many interviewees fall into a classic trap when they see this type of problem. They rush to form equations without pausing to understand what the question is truly asking. And that is exactly what interviewers want to test. Not whether you can blindly apply formulas, but whether you can stop, think, and interpret the meaning behind the question being asked. So let us first see what kind of mistake many interviewees make. Most interviewees read the first line that Jack and Mike can do a job in two hours and think of it as something like this. Jack plus Mike is equal to two. Then the next line becomes Jack plus Sam is equal to three. And the third one becomes Mike plus Sam is equal to four. Now, since the question asks for the time taken by all three working together, they add up all three statements and get two times Jack plus two times Mike plus two times Sam is equal to the sum of two, three, and four, which is nine. Then they divide both sides by two and say, Jack plus Mike plus Sam is equal to four and a half. So they think that all three of them together will take four and a half hours to finish the job. They sit back with a smile, waiting for the interviewer to clap for their quick maths. And yes, they are right. The interviewer will clap, but it will be a slow clap, the kind that says, we are done with this interview. This is because if we think logically, it cannot be right. How can three people together take longer than two people? That makes no sense at all. If Jack and Mike can finish the job in two hours, adding Sam should make it faster, not slower. So something is definitely wrong in this way of thinking. That's the moment when the interviewer knows the candidate solved the equation but never understood the problem. Interviewees are not thinking about the rate of work. They are only thinking about the time. The times given in the problem do not simply add or subtract. The trick is to think in terms of how much of the job each person can do in one hour. So let's go step by step carefully and understand it in plain English. When the problem says Jack and Mike can do the job in two hours, that means if they both work together for two hours, they will finish one complete job. That also means in one hour, together, they will complete half of the job. Now, the same logic applies to the second line. Jack and Sam can finish the job in three hours, which means in one hour, they do one-third of the job together. And for the third line, in one hour, Mike and Sam can do one-fourth of the job together. Now we will see about how to represent this clearly. Let us say in one hour, Jack can complete a fraction of the job, which we will call J. Similarly, Mike's one-hour work is M, and Sam's one-hour work is S. So J stands for the part of the job Jack does in one hour. M stands for the part of the job Mike does in one hour, and S stands for the part Sam does in one hour. Now using that, we can express the information more meaningfully. The first statement says that Jack and Mike together in one hour can complete half of the job. So that means J plus M is equal to one divided by two. The second statement says Jack and Sam together in one hour can complete one third of the job. So J plus S is equal to one divided by three. The third statement says Mike and Sam together in one hour can complete one fourth of the job. So M plus S is equal to one divided by four. Now that looks much more reasonable because each of these tells us about how much of the work is done in one hour, not how much time it takes. The question now asks, how long will it take for all three, Jack, Mike, and Sam, working together to finish one full job? When all three work together, 
their combined work done in one hour will be J plus M plus S. If they keep working hour by hour, then in X hours, they will complete X times that combined work. Since they have to finish one full job, we can say X times the sum of J, M, and S is equal to one full job. From this, we can think that X is equal to one divided by the sum of J plus M plus S. So the main task now is to find what the value of J plus M plus S is. Once we know that, we can easily find X, the time it takes for all three together. To do that, it's simple. We can just add all three equations together. On the left side, we will get two J's, two M's, and two S's, because each name appears twice. So that becomes two times the sum of J plus M plus S. On the right side, we add the three fractions, one divided by two plus one divided by three plus one divided by four. To add those fractions, let us find a common denominator. The smallest number that all two, three, and four divide into evenly is 12. So we will convert each fraction to have 12 as the denominator. One divided by two becomes six divided by 12. 1 divided by 3 becomes 4 divided by 12. 1 divided by 4 becomes 3 divided by 12. When we add them, we get 6 plus 4 plus 3, or 13. So the total is 13 divided by 12. And after dividing both sides by 2, J plus M plus S is equal to 13 divided by 24. So in one hour, all three of them together can complete 13 divided by 24 of the job. Now the only thing left is to find how long it will take them to complete one full job. We already said that the time x is equal to 1 divided by the combined rate. So x is equal to 1 divided by 13 divided by 24, which is the same as 24 divided by 13. Now, 24 divided by 13 is approximately 1.84 hours. But instead of writing in decimals, let us express it nicely in hours and minutes. 1.84 hours means one hour plus 0 0.84 of an hour. Since one hour has 60 minutes, we multiply 0 0.84 by 60 to get around 50 minutes. So Jack, Mike, and Sam, working together, will finish the job in about one hour and 50 minutes. And that makes perfect sense logically, too. When Jack and Mike work alone, they take two hours. When all three work together, they finish faster than that. And that is how you approach such questions with confidence. So good!